so what we need more is so the tire that's one and one handle right here to open and close the door and that's gonna be here so I'm just while I'm in edit mode I bring one cube okay and let's give that S in X axis a little bit and I just look oh from here so we need to scan that in Y axis as well in Y axis so I just turn this one off okay and the S in Y axis S in Y axis and G grab that in Y axis again look at from this side scan that a bit okay guys so yes that's fine that it is snapped exactly so grab this point press ctrl shift and B okay oh mm, or let me we do something like this press this edge and this edge and Control B, okay? A few times. So that's fine. So, and here, press, select this face, I for extrude, and then inside. Okay? And again, grab this upper area, area or my, maybe this one, and Shift D. Set it here. Okay, E for extrude and grab maybe here, a little bit down and press 2, number 2, to select the edge, select, 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 not that, but here and press Ctrl and what and B, okay. And just kind of let a little bit down and press um, press L G Y scale that uh, I mean do something like this okay so when somebody see here that's kind of handle for open the door so um, I think it's gonna be a hole here so I'm just grab here and okay so I'm gonna come here and make another circle Press here and in view and make make that until 18 fine not to detail we need so press F fill and extrude that inside and grab by F by L and mix N as well G in X fine now everything merge so the next thing is maybe here this mirror actually we don't need to model those because I want to use this car for a match okay for a very cool match so that's it now i think um, maybe the lamp okay i'm just gonna look where those can be exist
you're gonna be um, let me just subdivide this part okay and press one select this part maybe three I for extrude and extrude this area inside E for extrude inside and now we got the shape so just delete this area or let me let here and here as well from the top we grab everything G and just enable clipping in this case okay so as you can see but one more thing grab grab here and here okay and or maybe this one and this one and this three and we want to make those a little bit flat okay like this and as well maybe here and here and here g in x okay and here a little bit back fine that's fine and one for here as well maybe so uh, we just subdivide this area and i just grab here in in y okay let's grab that in y axis move that in y axis and make it extrude like so so now we can make the back side lump okay select extrude extrude and what we got here this is very strange every time i'm gonna fix those so if you click here you see the boundary oh that's a new thing you see now it made our job easier and faster so extrude inside okay and we maybe need to add a couple of lump so one here extrude i for extrude and inside or maybe outside it don't know exactly we just add some okay so here we got Maybe that's too much of extruding. Uh, maybe we can add another uh, eye extrude inside, okay? And maybe we grab here and just extrude that inside here, not all over. All of that. Okay, cool. I and E. Fine. Okay. So now one for here. Okay. For the front, uh, I think uh, Shift S cursor to select it. And while still you're in edit mode, mm, add another circular. Maybe set it on 20. 
look from the this point change it to view okay now we kind of make those uh, turn off the enablement clipping okay so we come here and we just press F to fill that E okay and S scale E again E extrude in, inside so grab everything look at from the top and G a little bit forward grab this area and inside of the car so grab again Z here okay so I maybe need to borrow that again set it here and we see yes uh, overlapping g x and that's gonna be fine okay guys so we maybe need to add one right here so that gonna be an extrude inside and maybe back okay okay oh that's too much extrude s for a scale in z axis and e again that's fine so grab and delete this face look if we got some issues so clipping turn on from here we just grab this point and G and in Y axis move those okay um, now we got this shape press 3 go to the face mode and I just want to make a duplication of here okay so press shift and D and um, move that a little bit in front here okay now I just make that uh, a separate power part okay so I just grab here in and move that in this direction okay and we apply the modifier or mirror modifier or we just um, so we apply that or maybe we keep that okay unless here so I just subdivide that a few times I just subdivide that and we see that we don't we can't subdivide that okay so uh, let me just delete that part okay and what happened with these guys so I just delete this one okay and look at from the front and I just set the through the cursor by holding shift and right click and I just add a new plane and rotate that on y-axis 90 degrees and then make that scale it very small so shift the and in I mean s for scale in y-axis okay so I'm gonna subdivide that a few times and subdivide again subdivide again one more time okay that's fine so now press f3 and search for poke okay poke faces we don't want those extra lines so we again press f3 and in this time press tries to quad you see this cool shape so now i'm just add a wireframe okay and you see 
this cool thing we got. Okay. Here and here. So now what I'm going to do is just enable this professional editing and I choose this linear, okay? And I grab this part, as you can see here, and just adjust that in X axis so that it fits. So now grab all GX. Just need to see if it's perfectly at this at the area we want. E or maybe rotate that a little bit. G in X. Okay. Maybe that's fine. So we apply and And here we got, so we maybe can apply this one later, okay? A little bit later, I want to connect this one to that. Okay, guys, so that's it. Here and here. I for extrude, extrude that inside and grab these two guys and make those a little bit smaller. Okay. And reposition those in their origin place. Like so. Grab uh, and L. Just grab here for now. And G in X axis. G in X axis. Okay. I mean L to select everything and then G. 